Amazon and Google. Pretty much the A to G of the internet. Like if you've ever been on the web, you've probably come across one of their sites. So I feel like it'd be reasonable to assume that the main landing pages for these companies would be some of the best in the biz. But for some reason, I found them to be a bit lacking. Let's see if we can figure out why. Starting with Google, we're gonna set aside the numerous visual inconsistencies across the various versions of your landing page for a moment, and we'll just focus on this one here. It's strange to me that you've decided to round so many of your UI components, and yet whenever you're using one of the Doodle logos, there's no rounding at all. When combined with the fact that the image doesn't align with anything else on the page, it just creates another visual inconsistency that's hard to overlook. I think the relatively minor adjustment of making the image the same size as the the search bar makes a lot more sense. That fixes your alignment problem, but it still doesn't address the lack of roundness. We could simply round all four corners, but I kind of think we could do you one better by taking some inspiration from the Android app drawer. I specifically like how you rounded the outer corners of the search results more than the inner ones, and then left a little gap in between. I think it would look really good if we use that same style here. Wait, 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 hyperplex, you imbecile. Did you even consider the fact that there's like thousands of different Google Doodles, each of which has its own unique and wildly different design? Oh, okay, whoa, 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 I can still salvage this. Just uh, give me a sec here. Uh, aha, got it. If there's a logo style that won't fit within our rounded container, we do like a gradient background and then just place the logo on top. Phew, close one. Okay, now I want to refer back to those other designs because we need to do some shopping for some different features. If I had to pick a favorite search icon, I'd have to go with this one here. Though I think it'd be a bit too much to flood all of your icons with that style, so let's go with the plain white ones for the other two buttons. I'm starting to feel like things need to be broken up some more, so I think an easy fix would be separating out your buttons. Note that we once again kept the smaller radius on the inner corners and the larger radius to match the outer corners. And now there's just two sections left to handle, the shortcut links and the news feed down below. I don't really have any issues with this section. We could just kind of convert it to the new style, but I do, however, want to take a closer look at this section. Let's start with what I like first. The icons make sense to me, and I'm glad they're contained within a predefined space. Without that container, there's a greater chance of things looking sort of uneven, since you're now relying on the size and shape of the icon itself. Having a label down below makes sense too, as well as laying them all out in a grid like you have. But what doesn't make sense to me is the actual content of the labels. I get that they're based on the title of the web page, but it just seems like there's got to be a better way to do it. For instance, one of the key pieces of information I'd want to see here is the base URL of the site I'm visiting. No HTTPS, just twitter.com. And ideally, I'd like to see the name of the site I'm going to as well, especially if I'm just going to their homepage. But if there's a specific page it's shortcutting me to, like the Your Work page on CodePen, it'd be fine to include the whole title. All right, with the current layout, there just isn't a whole lot of space to nicely fit a lot of characters, which means a lot of the labels wind up getting cut off. So perhaps swapping the 4x2 grid for a 2x4 would give us some more room to work with. Overall, I think I'm decently happy with how this one turned out, but the fact that I forgot to account for other doodle designs is just plain embarrassing. All right, on to Amazon. Where to start? Oh, you know what? Speaking of great places to start, if you're watching this and you have any interest at all in learning about web development from high quality, reputable instructors from some of the top tech companies, you need to check out Frontend Masters. In fact, if you go to frontendmasters.com slash trial, they'll give you access to five of their most popular courses completely free. And if you finish those and want more, it's only 39 bucks a month to unlock access to 150 plus courses on literally everything web development related you could possibly imagine. No idea where to start? They've got learning paths that will walk you through step by step exactly which courses to take to hit a certain goal. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check them out or at the very least go get yourself some free courses. All right Amazon, I can't sit here and pretend I have an explanation for what makes a good gradient but I can say that I'm not the biggest fan of this usage here. Maybe it's because it doesn't seem to mesh well with the rest of the page. Either way, I don't want to get rid of it entirely, that seems too easy. So let me see if I can figure out a better way to incorporate it. I really like how on Vers cells landing page, they contained a vibrant gradient within some text and as a border to their button. I also like YouTube Music's homepage where they subtly placed a gradient in the background. So using those as a starting point, let's take your gradient here and use it as the border of your search bar. Now I just straight up prefer dark themes, so I'm gonna make it black as well. 
Your navigation tabs here look fine, but it's not exactly clear that I can scroll to see more of them. Perhaps giving them a distinct container would be better because there'd be a higher chance of either seeing the last button cut off or the start of the next button. It seems silly to leave it up to chance. I know an arrow would be an easy way to be more explicit about it, but I'm not really a fan of the way that looks. So what if instead we got a little fancy and said that if the length of our buttons happens to align perfectly with the edge of the device, we dynamically dynamically adjust the button padding just a bit to fix it. Okay, this location selector doesn't really need any changes, it could honestly just stay put. But maybe since we switched the tabs to buttons, they'd look better up top with the location selector directly below search. All right, what's next? Hmm, well, I guess one thing that's kind of annoying is always having to reach to the top of the screen to hit search. So what if we shifted this whole section down here closer to where the hand naturally rests? And then of course, when you scroll, it could stick to the top similar to how it does now. Okay, onto this featured section. My biggest issue here has gotta be the misaligned images due to the label having to drop down to a second line. I know it probably makes more sense to fit as many products here as possible, but I'm sorry, I just can't deal with it. So I'm gonna swap the orientation to landscape to allow for longer labels and say that there just have to be a character limit in place or an ellipsis to deal with the overflow. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that no one in the history of ever has enjoyed a banner ad. But I will say that adding a subtle container like a border with some rounded corners at least makes it a little classier. Going back to your gradient for a moment. I mentioned earlier really liking how YouTube Music incorporated theirs into the background. I think we could get away with something similar by hiding this one behind your search area. I also think it'd look pretty swell if you used it for the highlighted nav option as well. If you like these redesigns and wanna actually interact with them, definitely check them out on CodePen, or if you want to see more of my redesign ramblings, here's another video I did on Costco and Domino's.